Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about merge sort in C sharp and how you can do it in a fairly generic way. So let's get started. So to do this, I have defined a class called merge sort and it's going to be a generic class. So it takes a type. So you can sort uh, character arrays or sort integer arrays, for example. And uh, to do this, uh, typically you want to inherit or, or implement an interface called iComparer. And that's what I've done. It's part of the uh, C-sharp system. And uh, it requires you to essentially uh, do one function called compare. And it returns an integer and it takes two parameters, x and y, that need to be compared. So in this class, what I'm doing is in the constructor function, I am taking in the type of the data that is uh, there and uh, here I am essentially storing it in uh, private uh, data here so I can work with it and I am also creating a temp array because merge sort typically requires a temp array of the same length so that's what I am doing. I am allocating this array and it takes the comparison function so that way uh, once you do the constructor you can specify the data and the comparison function and comparison function is essentially used over here. So that's pretty much uh, how the merge dot constructor is going to look like. And to sort, what I want to do is I just give in the sort and start with the zero index and the length minus one. And, uh, and then we can go into the merge sort function. The merge sort function typically, I have actually prepared a little slide for you to kind of demonstrate how it works. Basically, you take an uh, array that is the incoming array and you separate it into the low and the high point so that's pretty easy low is going to be in this case zero high is the length minus one so it is six and midpoint is basically you add low and high and divide it by two and take the floor so in this case it would be three so what you do is you divide the array into two portions and you recursively sort them so in this case we would sort this array then we would sort this array and then we would divide it back again by this uh, root zero the high value, the end point, and midpoint would be just uh, low plus high divided by two. And then this and this and this and this. And once you have recursively done this, at the very bottom, what you want to do is call the merge operation. So merge operation is essentially taking two sorted arrays and combining them. So for example, in the end, in this particular example, you would have this. And when you merge this, it's going to be, these are sorted arrays in itself, and you can merge them. Here you can merge the sorted arrays. Actually, I made a mistake here. This should have been uh, 3 and 10. So let's just correct this. And uh, you would do the same thing. Then you do the merge. And that's how you get the last array. So in terms of the code, let me show you what to do. Sort is low and high. If high is equal to low, pretty much we have nothing to do. Otherwise, midpoint is low plus high divided by 2. We sort from low to the mid. And sort mid plus 1 to the high. And then we merge the sorted subarray. Sort is just essentially calling this function recursively. To merge sorted subarrays is pretty straightforward. We basically copy initially the data to the temp array. Once we have the temp array, we have two uh, indices that kind of move around those two arrays. I1 is moving through the, the lower part of the sublist, and I2 is moving through the higher part of the sublist. And all it is doing is to combine into the data the combined array which is basically take two small sorted arrays and sort it back in again it's pretty easy the cursor goes from the low point to the high point so if the low sub list is completed basically we are going to write into the data of some things from the high list so that's why you see this happening otherwise the high sub list is completed you com uh, copy into the data from the high sub list this is what it is doing Otherwise, what you can do is both of the lists are still active in terms of what you're copying from them. So whichever one you copy from based on the comparison function, uh, you essentially increment that particular index. In this case, I1 is for the low index. That's what you do. I also provided a high a verify function so that you can call it. And if it's the data is not sorted properly, it's going to give you an exception. And it also uses the same comparison function here, which says, if this is the case, it was not sorted and you can throw it an exception. So in terms of how you use it, it's pretty straightforward. As I said, you have to provide two functions. Uh, I'm going to do sorting in two cases. So first, let me just show the integer sort here. So I'm creating, uh, you can see the merge sort 
it's going to have an integer and here is my compare function compare function is here it returns an integer and takes two parameters x and y if both of them are equal returns 0 if x is less than y return minus 1 otherwise it returns 1 so that's where it is to give it a data i'm just uh, getting data by generating an array and using the random class and using link to generate a random array so i'm first going to call it and it's going to sort it and then i'm going to print the verify so let me just start this and see how this works uh, so if you can see it's uh, sorted fine verifying uh, also prints the data so you can see it's printing and everything looks sorted and is very good so to just do a character array what i can do is i can generate a character array from uh, this string or associates it generates a character array so i can just kind of step through it so you can see this character array has essentially gaur like that and then we can sort this character array and i can give it the compare function which is based on chars so char function is going to take two inputs as char and give our output as int so that's pretty straightforward and then uh, we can just kind of see it uh, the verification if the uh, verification of a sorted array here you can see a the cap the way the sorting is done with these characters is the capital letters have lower code so they come up first and then you can see it's also sorted so you can use a merge sort like this to create a fairly generic uh, way to sort different kinds of things hopefully you enjoyed this you want to learn more and see uh, many other videos from uh, what you can do is uh, go to my website go associates and you can search for javascript or c sharp here i'm just for example searching for javascript and you can search for this thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day